God, we love you and there is no one like you. God, we enjoy it to speak to you and, and thank you for the honor that we can do it through prayer. God, you want us to be sensitive in the spirit and that we will be sensitive to your emotion, to your thoughts, to your, your, your feelings, to that what you want, your purposes for our lives, your perfect will. Help us to understand that. But Lord, thank you that we have a way to get into that place and that is through the gift of prayer. Thank you, Father, that you help us through <clears throat> your spirit to understand how to pray and what to pray so that we cannot just be sensitive in, in, in the spirit, but that we will have a lifestyle where we are sensitive mm -hmm. to what you are doing, sensitive to what the Holy Spirit is saying and testifying in our spirit, that we will not be first sensitive because of hurts, because of disappointments, God, because of issues and, and opinions. No, we will not be sensitive for that. We will not be, uh, we will not be loyal to those things first that cause a certain sensitivity. Now we will be loyal and faithful to you, Lord, and your voice, so that in that place we can be sensitive to your guidance, sensitive to your voice, sensitive in the spirit to that what you want to do. Help us to understand that place and that we can enjoy that place, Lord, as a way, as a strategy into that place through prayer. Thank you for the opportunity, Lord, also from that place that the, that the Holy Spirit gifts can flow in and through us, Lord, because this is your perfect will. Father, you said that, that we, must, we must desire the gifts, we must covet the gifts, we must push with the gifts, especially to prophesy. Here we are, Lord, to be obedient. Come then through your Holy Spirit and release the gifts that you want to release over our lives. Holy Spirit, as you want, whenever you want, whatever gift, here we are. We believe, not based on our performance, but based on who you are in the perfect will of the Father. Let it flow through us, Lord, in such a way that people will see more of you. A word of knowledge of things that we didn't know before, so that people not say, wow, about us, but wow, there's a God that, that knows everything about my life. The same with the word of wisdom, same with the word of, of prophecy, Lord. God, that we will, our utterance will be from heaven. That our words will be the same as your words on our lips. That's our desire, Lord. That's our desire. We want to work with you, not just for you and to your honor, Lord. Thank you for the opportunity in such a way that then we will be able and we are able to see truth beyond the facts. Facts, Lord, we need to go to hell. And you, not on the cross, but God by truth, the truth. Father, you loved us so much, you gave your son to die for us on the cross. Jesus, you loved us so much that for the joy set before you, you went to the cross. Holy Spirit, you love us so much that you will never leave us, never forsake us until the coming of Christ. Thank you. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, for who you are, and that we can live in that truth that sets us free <clears throat> from any form of facts that want to keep us bound. Facts will submit to the truth in our lives, in Jesus' name. And thank you that from this place, Lord, our prayer will always be a blessing to others. Help us not to be so, uh, full of selfishness, Lord, forgive us for that but that we will look beyond ourselves to live also according to the calling so that our hearts and your heart can be united, Lord, as we, don't, as we are not living for ourselves, but for other people. Help us to understand how our prayer is a blessing, a gift to many others around us, a gift to nations, a gift to the city, a gift to specific people, a gift to marriages and children and grandchildren, Lord, as we choose to give ourselves also in prayer. Thank you for prayer. Thank you for the gift of prayer, Lord. I pray this for every man, every woman that's listening to this prayer, that they will receive it and they will be launched, that they will be launched in the mighty name of Jesus into this place of sensitivity in the Spirit, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the truth to set them free with every utterance from their mouth in prayer and that every prayer will be a blessing and will have impact through their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.